Good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Kedus Asfo. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cubic. At Cubic, we're turning low, uh, plastic waste into low-carbon and low-cost building materials. Now, my background is in software. Uh, I also used to work at UNICEF. So you might ask yourself why I'm here. So let me just tell you a bit about how my life turned into trash. So I grew up in Addis. Uh, it's the capital of Ethiopia. But I've never seen this. This was only one kilometer away from me. And about 2018, there was this news about this landfill that actually collapsed and killing people around it as well. And it really was striking to me because this was also a place that I grew up in. I've never seen this before. And I started to understand why this is happening around me and whether it's happening anywhere else around the world. And the more I was looking into this, it was actually very striking that it wasn't only my city, but all over the world where in just 20 years, you're going to have seven out of 10 of us living in a city. And the big thing that cities like Addis Ababa are going to be looking at is how to manage waste, how to drive affordability for those who are living in these type of places, but also how to become the solution and not the problem to climate change. Now, when you think about the other side beyond trash, what you're also seeing is many people cannot afford to live in a decent home. 300 million homes are needed for families to actually say they can afford it and live in it. A third of this is in Africa. And when we were building Cubic, we started to understand what that looks like as a market. What we saw is this is actually a $2 trillion business that has been very, very difficult for real estate developers to tackle. The primary reason for this has to do with building materials. Uh, things like cement are actually very expensive. And if you want to make a house affordable, you also have to make these materials that developers are making affordable as well. So this is where we came in. As Cubic, what we're making is a very boring product. We make walls. These walls are made out of those plastic waste that you just saw earlier. But they're also meant to be very cheap, easy to build with, and at the same time, be a solution towards climate change. We're about five times less polluting than using cement. And our business model is very simple as well. Uh, we're not trying to uh, boil the ocean. What we do as we focus on making an incredibly great product that is affordable, that makes people live in a very decent situation in a very affordable manner. But we're also tackling two other sectors. The first thing that we're doing is we're able to take out plastic waste that nobody else wants to use because it's very expensive or very hard to recycle. We do this by simply buying it. We're not a recycling company. And if you go to a place like that landfill that I showed you earlier, what you're going to notice is there's a lot of people there that are trying to make ends meet by selling trash. And if we're able to give them that decent wage, that market access to thousands of tons of plastic waste every single day, we can then convert that into a material that real estate developers are incentivized to use and make affordable homes. Now, Cubic is about two years old, and we've made actually really great progress in our first market in Ethiopia. But the part that has really excited me is the impact that we're actually bringing from this one factory that you see behind me. Every day, we are able to recycle 45,000 kilos of plastic waste. This is plastic that nobody else is buying. We can convert this into over 5,000 affordable homes every year. We're able to avoid up to 100,000 tons of CO2 emissions every year from that one factory and create very decent jobs that are especially led by women. Our ambitions are very great as well. Waste, climate change, and affordable housing are not only an issue in Ethiopia, they're actually an issue all over the world, whether you consider it to be low or high income. So we believe we have a technology and a business model that's going to be able to bring a gigaton solution to fighting climate change, all while being able to put a dent to the plastic waste crisis, being able to provide affordability to housing, and create jobs, 
all while being a company that can become the next unicorn. Now, we were recently recognized as Time's 100 most influential climate leaders. And this doesn't only have to do with our ambition, but with the strides that we've made so far. And that stride has actually started with our team. We have a team of people that actually not only understand the business and the technology, but have the strongest conviction to changing what tomorrow looks like and living in, in a city. And it's because of this team that we've been able to be named Africa's and the world's best startup this year. And what we want to be doing in the next coming years is work with you and becoming the company that has made this work. Thank you.